Hi everybody, this is PA1CA, Papa Alpha 1 Charlie Alpha, and today I'm going to do a quick click through of a new logging app for the iPad made by Mercules. When you open the app for the first time, this is what you'll see. An empty log in which you can start logging right away. You can click either on the bar here or on the plus sign here to start entering your first contact. When you click on the plus sign, you'll see that you can start entering a call sign. So I'll Try one. You can see here that a numeric uh, bar is added. Uh, you can click the numbers from here. Also the slash sign you can click from here. This is so you don't need to go from the numeric keyboard to the alphanumeric keyboard and back again when you're entering a call sign. If you go to the next field, you can enter here a frequency and if you want to you can now just press the save button and the first contact is entered as you can see very simple some uh, default information is already entered like the received and the sent RST if you press here the show more button you'll see that there are some other fields that you can enter but making a normal contact, you don't need to enter this. I'll enter quickly now a few contacts, put another plus. By the way, once you enter a call sign, you can see right away some extra information that you're getting, like the country of the operator, the ITU zone, and also the CQ zone. So, I entered four call signs. As you can see, it's very easy to enter the information, especially when you're in a pileup somewhere or when you're doing a contest. Enter the information. It takes only seconds to enter a contact. What else is there to see in the first quick click through? You can click on this menu here. You see that there are uh, some uh, menu items that uh, are related to the lock in general. You can decide here to create a new lock, open an existing lock file, or delete an existing log file. You can enter some notes. Notes are specific for the one log that you're uh, handling at the moment. So for every log you have a separate notes field. And here you can just uh, enter any interesting information. You can export the information. What is very useful, what I'm doing a lot, is uh, when I enter a certain lock, I'm just mailing it as an ADIF file to my email account. And then with the, the mailed lock, uh, I'm importing in my desktop logging software. Another option in the left menu is the import option. You can import existing ADIF files. Uh, you need to put them in the iTunes HEM Quick Lock document folder. In iTunes you have a document folder for a lot of apps. Uh, Quick Lock also has one. If you put an ADIF file in there, then it will show up in here. I only put in one now, but you can put more of course. I'll show this in a separate video. I'll not go into the details of this. I'll show this again in a separate video. Okay, so for now. Last option in the left menu is the contest option. If you make the lock a contest, then two fields are added. I'll do it like this. You can see here context received exchange and a sent exchange. These are the normal numbers or uh, values that you need to send during a contest. These are only interesting, of course, if you're doing a contest. So you'll only see them 
if you choose uh, for the log file to be in the context. Go back to this option again. You can make it so that uh, the value here is automatically incremented after every contact. Uh, and you can put the starting number here. Again, this is something that I'll show in another uh, video in more detail. On the right hand side, you also have a menu. This menu is related to the information you entered here on the right side. You can, for instance, check how many other uh, contacts you had with the current contact, the current operator. You can, as you can see, only one in this case. You can find the person in MQTH. If I do this, a web browser is uh, started. Here you can see the MQTH information. The same for a QRZ. If you want more information here, you need to log in. And you can just log in if you want to here. It's just the same as if you would start this in Safari in the browser. You can find the entity, which means the country uh, to which the operator belongs. You can find it also on the map, as you can see here, Jordan. The last part is you can fill with information from HEMQTH. For this, you need a HEMQTH account, which you can get for free on the HEMQTH.com website. This call sign is entered in MQTH. The information here is filled. If you go to the second page, more information is filled. So, now if I go back here and I save, then the, save, the information that I got from MQTH is saved uh, to this contact. This was the last option from this menu. And this was the quick click through. This is Papa Alpha 1 Charlie Alpha, PA1CA, signing off.